Hi, it's Evanago. So today we're doing this look. It's a very glowy um, look. So I got requested to do an everyday like glowing skin makeup look. This is what I personally do when I do a glowy look on a daily basis. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. So it's really simple and easy to do. We are mainly working with the skin and then we just have a little bit on the eyes and the lips. Oh yeah, and by the way, did you guys notice how tan I am? I did uh, get a spray tan, so that's why I'm so dark. <laughs> you can also just see my arms like... Oh, I'm so tan, I love it. So yeah, if I look tan, it's because I spray tanned, it was really fun. So yeah, I think that's it. So here comes the tutorial. Okay, so I know you guys have been missing my full face um, talk through videos, so that's what we're doing today. So I'm going to start out with my Benefit Professional. As you can see, I have cut it open so I can reach, if it's going to focus, there you go, so I can reach all the product that's left in here. So this is probably like my second to last um, application of Benefit Professional because I have no more lift. So yeah, I just applied it all over. So since I did um, get a spray tan, um, I'm a lot darker than usual. So I'm going to use my darkest Derma Blend foundation. This is um, in the color 25 Nude. So I think this is going to match my skin right now pretty good. But I did actually go ahead and purchase some new foundations in like a darker color for when I'm, you know, newly or freshly spray tanned. And I'll show you guys that in an upcoming haul. And I'm also taking this down my neck because my neck is very uneven. I don't know why, but there are just certain places on my body where like a spray tan or a self tanner just looks weird and patchy and no matter what I do, that always happens. I'm going to use my sponge. And I actually just ordered a new sponge from a um, Boy Pretty Store and it's supposed to be a dupe for the original Beauty Blender. So I'll keep you guys posted. So what have you guys been doing today? Um, all I did today was go on eBay and buy some new nail polishes. So I bought um, Essie's Sugar Daddy Ballet Slippers and Bikini Sotini and then I bought OPI's Topless Beach and China Clay's Flip Flop Fantasy and I also bought a, a what is it called? like a nail polish rack so I can have all my nail polishes on there all together so I'm really excited about that so I'm just adding a tiny bit more foundation on my acne scars this foundation is pretty full coverage so great if you have a lot of things to cover like I do and I'm sorry if like the lighting keeps changing, um, the weather is so shitty today, so that's why. So for a concealer, I'm going to try my LA Girl Pro Conceal again. Um, I used this in my first impressions tutorial, my latest one, and I still don't know what I think about it. Like, I quite like the coverage, but it just seems like a little bit like clumpy. But here we go. Oh, it's so cold. Feels good. And I'm going to blend it out with my mini beauty blender. So I'm going to use my white powder and my Ben Nye Banana Powder to set my under eye. And I just like to mix the two because um, the banana powder on its own is too dark for my skin tone. So mixing it with white just makes it lighter. So now that my under eyes are set, I'm going to go in with a powder all over my face. I'm going to use my Lancome um, pressed powder. This is what it looks like. It's called um, Matte Bisque 2. And I'm just using that to set my foundation. And this matches me really well now that I have my uh, spray tan. And of course down the neck as always. So I just removed the foundation from my lips. And now we are going to contour. So I'm going to use my New York color Sunny Bronzer. It's a nice matte color. So I'm going ahead and contouring my nose.
and then I'm contouring my face. And of course I'm contouring around my hairline. And of course along the jaw as well. So I always like to blend out my contour. So when it comes to blush for a glowy look, I would use something more bronzy, more peachy, corally um, instead of a pink blush. So I am going to use ELF's uh, Studio Blush. This is in the color Candid Coral. So I'm going to apply that on the apples of my cheeks. This is not a very um, dark blush, so you can be a little more heavy handed. And this blush also has a, sh a shimmer to it, so it will add you know, a nice little glowy effect. So now we are going to make this look super glowy with a ton of high um, highlighter. Because I have naturally oily skin, um, I don't want to use too many um, like cream products and too many like dewy products because it's not going to look dewy, it's just going to look greasy on me. So instead I'm going to use powder highlighters. I'm going to start out with NARS Albatross and it looks like this. So I'm going to pop this on my cheekbones to start off and as you can see it adds a very beautiful gold glow and I'm also ooh, here. and I'm also taking it down my nose on my chin and above my lips and of course we need to blend this out The second highlighter I'm going to use is this one from Essence. It is from the Cinderella collection. It's called the Glass Slipper. And if you can get your hands on this, definitely do so. It's amazing. So this one is also going on the cheekbones. And above the lips. And I hope you guys can see that glow. And just blend that out. So to me this highlighter gives almost like a wet look, so that's why I only apply it on my cheekbones and on my cupid's bow, because it's a little more intense than the NARS one, but I love it, I think it's beautiful. So that is basically it for the skin, so now we are going to do the eyes and the lips real quick. So I'm of course starting out with my eyebrows, and I'm going to use my Essence How to Make Brows Wow kit today, and I'm going to mix the lightest and the darkest color. You can do your brows however you want. So that's what my brows look like. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to use a bit of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. So I'm just applying that all over my eyelid. You could also go in and use this to clean up your brows, but... I don't know, I don't really like that whole very clean brow look. I like my brows to look a bit more natural. So the eyes that we are going to do today are super simple. I'm going to use my Lorac palette and I'm just going to use light bronze and taupe. And that's the only two colors we are going to use. And I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked 3 um, eyeshadow brush. And I'm starting out with light bronze. So this is going all over my eyelid. You can use any shimmery color that's close to your skin tone. I really love this color, it's so beautiful. And I'm also using this along the brow bone, just to highlight. And lastly, I'm using it in the inner corner, again to highlight. And then I'm going to take taupe, and I'm just applying that in the crease. And I'm just blending as I go. And 
I'm just dragging it a little bit onto my lower left line, just like in the outer corner. And I'm just using the same brush because I can't be bothered to find another brush. So that's the eyeshadows done, super simple. So now we are moving straight on to mascara. We are not going to do eyeliner either because I want this look to be quite wearable and everyday. So just curl those lashes. And I'm going to use Gosh Show Me Volume Mascara. And of course I smeared my mascara. That always happens to me. So I'm just applying a second coat of this. So now I have on two coats of mascara to my upper lashes. So you could apply mascara to the bottom lashes as well. But it always smears on me and I don't really like the look on myself. So I'm going to skip it, but if you want to do it, go ahead. And that's actually the eyes done, super simple. Um, a primer, two shadows, mascara, that's it. So now we're going to do the lips. So to line my lips, I'm going, I'm going to use Jordana's Tawny Easy Liner. And by the way, you guys, I have a scar on the right side of my lower lip. Um, right here it's like a red scar so sometimes my lipstick application looks a bit uneven but it's actually not it's just my scar that you can see but anyways just blend that out So for lipstick, I'm going to use Blangity by MAC. It's a nice nude color. And I'm going to top it off with this e.l.f. lip gloss. It is their Luscious Liquid Lipstick in the color Baby Lips. So just going to apply a bit of that. So we are almost done with this look, we just want to set the face. So I'm going to use MAC Fix Plus Spray. And this spray doesn't really set your face, but it does like lock in all the powders and it makes everything look more natural and more like, um, like skin. So let's spray it on. And yes, I use a lot. So I'm just going to wait for that to dry and I will be right back. Okay, so now um, the Fix Plus has dried and um, this is the finished look. So I absolutely love this look, I think it's super beautiful and it's actually really easy to do. So yeah, I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. So take care and bye bye.